Hey everyone, this is me Ashley Nandini from Savana Hearing Aid Center and today I am going to explain about Audiometric Special Test. The purpose of this video is to consider the usefulness of some of the special tests in differentiating cochlear and rectocochlear pathology. These special tests are the first one speech audiometry and the second one short increment sensitivity index and the third one tone decay test. Now let's look into the first one speech audiometry. Pure tone audiometry doesn't talk about the communication abilities of a person. Thus, speech audiometry helps in the assessment of an individual's speech hearing threshold. It helps in different aspects such as to cross check pure tone threshold to find out speech recognition ability, help in hearing aid selection, help in identifying functional hearing loss, help in identifying site of lesion, to rule out central auditory processing disorder, to check speech perception and noisy environment. This test involves a series of tests to assess speech perception at peripheral and central levels of an auditory system, which includes speech awareness threshold, speech recognition threshold, speech discrimination score, performance intensity phonetically balanced test, most comfortable level, uncomfortable level, dynamic range, masking, speech perception and noise test. Next comes short increment sensitivity index or CC test. This test determines the ability of a person to detect 1 dB increment of intensity in a pure tone stimulus. This test is used to differentiate between cochlear and retrocochlear pathologies. As a patient with cochlear pathology will be able to perceive 1 dB increment whereas the patient with retrocochlear pathology will not. Next comes the tone decay test. The tone decay test detects and measures auditory fatigue that is whether a continuous tone fades away completely within a certain amount of time usually 60 seconds. According to Kahar tone decay test, if the decay is of 30 decibels, it indicates the presence of cochlear pathology and if decay is more than 30 decibels, it indicates the presence of retrocochlear pathology. That's all about the audiometric special test and thank you for watching this video.